Hey, one love reggae, this is Kimani Mali speaking. Tune in and keep it locked right here. Just one love reggae. <laughs> <laughs> Sziasztok, ez itt a One Love Reggae TV újra a parkból, és 13-a van, nem péntek, de mégis egy nagyon szerencsés nap, mert két regi hatalmasságot köszönhetünk itt. Kimani Merlit és Gentleman, akik nemrég uh, dobtak piacra egy új albumot, Conversations címmel. Hey, welcome guys! It's really a great pleasure to have two great reggae artists here in Hungary. Uh, how do you feel right now? You started collaboration for two years in 2014 at uh, uh, Gentleman's MTV Unplugged concert. Did you know each other before or how can we imagine that the starting of that? I mean, we had to know each other before we yeah. before did the show, right? It's not that we met on stage. Um, no, we met actually, I think it was 2005-06 at a festival in France, and then we met over and over again at different festivals. And, and then, you know, the first musical collaboration was for his album Maestro, a beautiful piece of music, um, together with Matisse Yao, a song called We Are. And then I called Kiman, you know, and asked him if he wanted to do a song with me for the MTV on Black Tour. Uh, for the MTV on Black Project. And then we went on tour together, you know. So everything just happened very naturally, you know. The title of that collaboration is Conversation. So what does that title mean for you? What I mean for me, well, you know, it's, 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 it's important that we can go see it, you know. Um, that is the only way to really get to our issues and solve our problems is first through conversation. Yeah, so that's what it means to me. Yeah, we need to communicate more, you know, because I, what I realized in 2016, we, we scratch on the surface a lot and we don't dig deep, you know. And if, yeah. if we exchange our thoughts more, if, if, we, if we learn to listen to each other more and really try to understand each other more, we would have all be better off, you know, a lot of problems when we start just listening to each other. A call for conversation, always a call for sit down, have a reasoning, exchange your thoughts, your feelings, your fears, your, your hopes, your joys, you know, and we would all be better off. I made some research. I know your album from 2002, Journey to Jesus, and it is one of my favorite albums. Uh, Kimani, you released an album in 2000 with the title Journey. Could that <laughs> just an uh, incidence, or could this mean uh, 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 some uh, indication of the future? Take this journey. Mine does very well be, and uh, as I said, this, the story is written. So, you know, me and Jensen Man getting together and this for me, this album is, is, you know, like I said, it's bigger than us. This was, this was preordained, you know, so either way it went, this had to happen. Because if it didn't, then it wouldn't. You know what I mean? So maybe those were the signs from early on. <laughs> I have German uh, roots and one of my favorite German hip hop bands was Freundes Christ. And I remember the first time I saw you on television, it was Tabula Rasa Part 2. Yeah. And I was just wondering, oh, that, that there's a white guy singing Patoa perfectly. <laughs> oh, who is this guy? That, that, that was the time I, I was searching for your music. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The question would be, uh, could we uh, look at this uh, uh, work? I was singing on the B side of the record and, and he liked my flow, you know, so he came to me and said, yeah, we need a chorus for a song. You want to come to the studio tomorrow morning? And I went there and then I wrote that chorus and nobody expected that that song would be such a big hit song. You know, and then we went to Ghana and we shot the video there and on Super 8, you know, everything was really raw and radical. The whole vibe of the song was really edgy. 
and it still went in the pop charts, you know. So that was a motivation for all the hip hop acts and everybody in general to just do music with edges, you know. So I'm very, very thankful about that time, but it was definitely an opportunity. The conversation European tour is uh, soon taking an end. Uh, what are your plans for the for the new future? Well, after the tour is before the tour, you know. <laughs> so I mean, we, we keep on doing. We just, we just keep working, making music. We love to, you know, share the same stage, you know. Right now, you know, we don't really have no plans. to start. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some shows in America. This is just the start of it, and I'm quite yeah. sure we'll be back in Europe again with the same album. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah man. Definitely. I would like to ask you to, to give a short message for, for the Hungarian message. Well, my message would be that the minority is too loud. The majority, which is good-hearted people, they need to be louder, definitely. And this is not just going to the Hungarian people, it's going to the people in, in general. You know, when those people who, who have a good heart, they are the majority, but they're too quiet. You know? And we need to vote. Yeah. Even though I understand why people said they're tired of politics, but we need to vote, you know, because the radical ones, the left and the right wings, they definitely go vote, you know. In doubts, I'm always more left, but you know what I mean? We need to go vote, definitely. So the foods, they can get the power. Okay. Well, I will just leave with love, you know, one heart, one name, one destiny. That's the fire. Let's do it!